Hello. Good, what is it? What time is it? It is 7.14. Good evening, everybody. Where is my chat? There it is. Sub Greasy Pete says, hi CC, how are you? How is it going? Running a little bit late just because it's been kind of a busy day and I need to take a shower, but I haven't had time to. And so I was like, let me at least wash my face really quickly before the stream, because I know I'm not going to get a chance probably uh, until I'm done, until my day is done, basically. So running a few minutes late just to like wash the face and not be itchy, basically. Um, hi, Donald. Hello. Hello, Super Queeros. How's it going, Donald? How are you doing? I'm at a con. Very fun. Ooh, I love a con. That's great, Cece. Are you there all weekend, or are you just there today? What's today? Today's Saturday. Saturdays are always the busiest days of any con. What kind of con is it? Anime, video games, multimedia, comics, etc. Bought a load of junk I'll be hanging up and have no practical use for. That's how all cons go. Music and games. That's great. That's great. I love that for you. You'll have to show us what you got uh, in the Discord server. I always have to be very careful about, like organizing when I'm going to cons because if I'm gonna go to a convention like I have to set aside like this little stash of cash because you don't go to a con and not spend money like that does not happen like it takes a lot of diligence and self-restraint to go to a con and not spend money because if you step foot into that vendor room or into that artist's alley you're gonna be tempted by everything so I know how that goes and I know how expensive it can get yeah doing well about to go to a friend's don't call it a birthday party thing that's cute that's cute Donald I hope you have fun so it's a birthday party but you're not making it a birthday party but it coincidentally is on the same day or around the same time as your friend's birthday and probably hosted for or by the birthday person I understand I understand to this. You definitely have to have set comm budget and having it in cash helps a lot. That's also very well I didn't mean cash literally, but it does help a lot because there are quite a few vendors and Artists who sometimes just don't accept card understandably because there's usually like a fee involved and like You know, especially if you're like a small independent own business owner artist You probably aren't gonna be paying for like the credit card processor the square cash or whatever service it is that you're using so i get it yeah you posted it in irl oh i'll just take a quick look right now really quickly oh did you buy that is that a um not clefairy uh a cleffa plush i see cleffa i see shez i see maridon is that lysithia that's lysithia you got some cute stuff happy first saturday of 2023 hello surge how's it going welcome welcome Happy first Saturday, indeed. How's your first week been? It actually has been pretty... It's actually been a pretty good week so far. Oops, I forgot to turn on closed captions. I'm sorry to anybody that relies on those. There we go. Okay, closed captions should be on now for the live stream. Uh, hi, Will. Hello. Happy. Hi, everyone. Happy Saturday. How's it going? Once the cash is gone, then cash is gone. There isn't uh, any more like there is with a card. Right. Oh, I understand that. It can be kind of smart to pull together some cash so as to, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. That's to, like, create a hard limit for yourself. That's kind of smart, Donald. That's actually pretty smart. Cleffa bestie. Aw. Cleffa is a cutie. Cleffa is a little cutie. Pretty okay-ish? I feel like it's been a pretty, pretty solid week for me. Work has been pretty tolerable for the most part. Yesterday, I had a pretty surpri uh, a surprisingly good time. I couldn't stream yesterday because my job, I work at a bank, um, and our manager for all of the branches in our area wanted to basically organize a bowling event. Some sort of outing so that all of the branch staff could meet because some of them didn't know each other. Um, and basically, yeah, just hang out. Um... Uh, we'd never done anything like that before, uh, at least not since I've been an employee. Um, and so, sure enough, we went to a bowling alley uh, in Midtown, in Times Square, 
and we had a really, really good time. There were free drinks involved, there was free food involved, the food was good, the drinks were strong, and the bowling was surprisingly very, very fun. And we had a really, really good time, and it was fun to see my manager and my co-workers all relatively tipsy, if not drunk. One or two of them might have been drunk, I could not tell. But it was very fun, and I had a very good time. Um, and it's just been a really good start to the new year. I'm feeling very optimistic about the year. Wow, Jordy Arms. Hi, Gronulf. Hello. It's like really warm in my apartment. I was wearing a long sleeve shirt not even 15 minutes ago, but then my heater turned on, and I'm not quite sure why, but it did, and then I started sweating, and I was like, I need a change, because I'm not about to sweat with my lights on during the stream. So yeah, we got the arms out today. Um, it was fun, yeah. I definitely overestimated how long Gris will take to complete. It'll probably be like Journey. Oh, you think so, Donald? You think I'll be able to finish it in one sitting? I, I was looking on both Reddit and also um, on Steam to see how long some people said. Some people said it could take anywhere between three to six hours. I'm giving myself a little bit under three hours tonight. And I do plan to take my time with it, because as you guys know, I get distracted very easily while playing games, especially when it comes to chatting with you all. So I'm allocating two streams to this, Donald. Did you give more of the margarita side guy? I, I did not give more of the margarita side eye, no. Although it would have been very funny if I, if I did. No. I got very tipsy, though, and there was a lot of dancing on my end. Because I'm when I'm at work, you know, I work at a bank. I'm very stoic, I guess might be the word. Serious. I also prefer to tend, I'm very introverted at my job. I prefer to keep to myself. Some of my other coworkers prefer to like conglomerate and like hang around each other. Hang around, we're at a bank. You know, like float to one another and like chat. I will usually prefer to be at my desk and just like not talk to the others. And so last night was probably the first time that some of them ever saw me like being very extroverted, very outgoing, very energetic. So I'm sure that was a moment for them. I heard the average playthrough is 13 seconds, not 13 seconds. My goal is to play at least like two to three hours tonight and obviously take my time with it. And then I'm willing to allocate one more stream for Gris next week to finish it. I still need that Marg side eye emote. I forgot to make one. I will make it. I am slowly but surely updating our Discord server. I'm making some slight tweaks just to like, you know, revise it a little bit because I was looking at our like rules and like some of the channels is like, I should probably remove some of these. Should probably update some of the emotes, add a few more. I recently added our animated emotes, the ones that we have here on Twitch. I recently added those because I realized that I never uploaded those from way back when we first got them. I think back during the charity stream. Um, Vidas and vote Don Brigade slash Tellius. The CYL propaganda has already, I mean, obviously with Choose Your Legends. Oh, I need to vote. Shit. Wait, thank you for the reminder. I legit need to vote. Did I vote yesterday? Shit, I haven't opened up Faye today and you just reminded me, actually, that I need to vote really quickly before we jump into the game, which we're gonna stay in chat for a little bit before we play the game, because again, it's a short game and I'm not planning to finish it tonight. So like, there is no rush. We can stay chatting for as long as we need to, but thank you for the reminder. I do need to vote really quickly and open up Faye. Um, which Effie character gets the Marg, though? <laughs> gets the Marg. If I had money to spend right now, which I don't, um, I would absolutely commission an artist to draw some propaganda for one of my favorite characters. Who am I voting for in CYL? I'm putting all of my votes to male Shez. I know that there's a lot of people campaigning for Sorin, and I understand it. But my top pick for Choose Your Legends is male Shez. Just because Engage, you know, obviously just finally got added into the Choose Your Legends ballot. And because Engage is coming out... Sorry, I said th meant to say Three Hopes. Three Hopes just got added to the ballot. I want to make sure that Shez wins before Engage comes out. I feel like everybody recognizes this pressure. That because Engage will, be have, will have released by next year, obviously. 
that this is kind of like the last good chance for any non-engaged heroes to win. I feel like everybody's in agreement about that. Hi, Rudy. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Happy Saturday. How are you? Vote. That's so true, Mike. How are you doing, Mike? Long time no see. We had a really good D&D session t this afternoon. That was a lot of fun. Oh, gosh. Oh, gee. I wonder who I'm voting for. It sure is a mystery. I'm sure their name doesn't start with P and end with Addy. So glad you've dedicated your votes to Garrett from FE6. Garrett! I don't even know who that is. Um, where is the voting link? And I have to vote twice, technically, because I have my two accounts. So, double the votes for Shez. <laughs> uh, there we go. But anyway, how's everybody's week been? For anybody jumping into the chat, we're just chatting for a little bit. We're going to be playing a new game today called Gris. It's expected to be a short game. But um, yeah, we're just vibing for now. It was fun just trying to yes and my way through the whole party. It was a really good D&D session today. Today was my online D&D session. And long story short, we inherited a mansion, decorated it and renovated it and held a party. Like a literal party for all of the NPCs that we've like uh, run into and or recruited and or interacted with and helped throughout our campaign so far. It was very fun and cute. Poor Kritati. Exactly, exactly. I'm so scared for the midterm results. I just hope my faves get to the top 10. I mean, win or lose, like, I feel like I'll be okay with whatever happens with Choose Your Legends, you know? Like, if my favorite, if Shez wins, then yay. Yay. But if he doesn't, then that's okay, because those banners always tend to have really good fodder regardless, so, like, it's a win-win. I either get the unit I want and get to try to plus 10 him, or I get some free fodder. So, like, no biggie, you know? Just gotta try to keep it up and, and oper- uh, what is the- You know, just gotta stay on the bright side, I suppose. There we go. How many times have we been able to vote so far, chat? I, I wanna make sure that I'm not, like, missing out on any votes. I have voted twice. Okay, good. Okay, great. Let me quickly vote on my alternate, and then I'm- and then I'm set. Patty will be number one. Oh, hey, Zeno! Did I say hi, Zeno? I don't know if I said hi. Anyway, hey, Zeno, how's it going? That'll be number one. Uh, Genealogy and Tina should hopefully stay number one for Thracia. Okay. Never care about the top spots really just for the units I want to see in the game that aren't in yet. Yeah, I used to tell myself that I, I, I used to vote for the characters that I wanted to see in the game, but it's kind of hard to tell how much of an influence that actually has nowadays. I really can't tell if they, they like actually care about that. Vote three happens later tonight. Okay, that's what I thought. So I'm just trying to get my last vote in really quickly. Let me just I have to open up an incognito tab so that I can log into my other Nintendo account and then cast my ballot. What's the name of the website called? Is it just Choose Your Legends? Oh, it's called Vote Seven Dot Campaign, something like that. Okay, my browser remembers. I've been invisible this whole time. <laughs> no worries, no worries. How are you doing, Zeno? How's life treating- how's a week treating you? Yeah, for anybody that didn't answer, how's your first week of the new year been so far? It's been good for me. It's been a really good week for me. Um, so I hope it's been just as well for everybody else as well. Um, what's my other email address? I think it's this one. Cool. I love doing those CAPTCHAs where you have to, like, Select all the squares with motorcycles in them. But then it's like, one of the squares has like, the driver, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, does the driver count as part of the motorcycle or no? So then I'm like, is the is it gonna think I'm a bot, or... Let's see. Okay, good. It doesn't think I'm a bot. Great. <laughs> Doing alright. I think yesterday was the most chaotic 2023 so far. Other than that, pretty good. What happened, if you mind me asking? Or if, it, if you'd rather not share, that's also perfectly fi fine. I don't blame you otherwise. Jordy has secretly been a bot this whole time. Could you imagine... If, like, I just randomly unveiled that Jordy died 10 years ago killed 
by a wild creature taking a fatal blow to protect another creature and this entire time it's just been an AI impersonating Jordy. That'd be pretty wild. That'd be one hell of a twist. I'd never see that coming. All right, second vote for Shez is in. Vote for Shez. I love this man. There we go. He pulled a Toro. <laughs> Today's been chill. I've been texting my my prima that I got to meet the first time in Mexico, and she's been very fun to chat with. Oh, that's so cool! I love that you're hang you're hanging with distant relatives, or I guess keeping in touch with distant relatives. That's cool. Bot Tom, you mean not Bot Tom? <laughs> Your shoulder gains are showing on stream. Are they actually? Thank you. Thank you. I'm in sort of like, um, I am no longer cutting, but I'm also not in a bulk. I'm in like my maintenance phase, which basically means that my tr my coach has like increased my macros, increased how much food I can eat, but like it's still not in bulk territory. It's just like a very sustainable amount of food. And that's where I'm at right now. So I appreciate that. I also have been seeing some increases in weight at the gym. So I've been having some really good workouts this week, not gonna lie. Um, which is why this stream might be good for me, actually. Hi, Chair Lizard. Wait, did I, mi I miss your first message? It's been pretty crappy for the most part, unfortunately. Oh, you got sick again. That's right, Char Lizard. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Hey, Lycan, how's it going? What's up? Happy Saturday. I changed my name color. What? You were like purple before? I cannot keep track of your name colors. Um, I'm saying! <laughs> Thank you, Gron Wolf. Thank you, Will. Uh, long story short, my mom's memory wasn't the best, and she's been real sick, so... But we're not doing our... We're, but we're doing our best to get her feeling better and whatnot. Gotcha. Gotcha. I hope things get better, Zeno, and I hope that the new year is kind to you and your family, for sure. Dark blue, I think. Okay. Alright. Well, we love a little rebrand moment. We love changing your color every now and then just to keep things fresh. New year, new me, as they say. Um, cool. Who is everybody else voting for in Choose Your Legends? I think I've already... I know that some of you guys are voting for Soren. Zeno, I, I assume you're probably voting for Shura, I would guess. God. Why is my heater turning on? It's like... Only like 40 something degrees outside. Like, which is not like warm, warm, but it's not cold, cold either. It's getting so hot in here. Um, feeling good for the most part today. However, being stuck in the house for the weekend kind of sucks actually. Yeah, I bet. I'm sorry to hear that. How long have you, have you been sick now? I remember you mentioned it in our server just a few days ago, like maybe one or two days ago. How long has it been now? Soren, of course, of course, Grunwolf. I mean, who? Me? Nar. Nar. Uh, I voted for Felix just so he can get a better alt. Finally, but I'm going to also vote for Soren and Chez. Yeah, I, I, a part of me really wants to throw some votes to, like, Ash or Felix or Sylvain. You know, some of my favorites from Three Houses. But, like, at the same time, like, I know that their base versions are going to get in the game at some point. And I don't see... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just... I didn't feel a need to throw votes to them. I feel like they're con they're fine. They're gonna get in the game probably this year. I wouldn't be surprised, but who knows? Uh, I do hope Soren for, so Soren for the sake of his fans, but his recent alt is solid, but yet has a pretty mid kit. It was nice seeing a Soren alt. We haven't gotten one in a while. My votes will go to Rutger. I'm not surprised. Keaton Volog. Oh, you're spreading them out though. Milshez. Yay! Dorothea, Mozu, Monica, Gunthra, Air, and no, I won't spare a vote for Sora. <laughs> not the gun. I was sick actually on Wednesday, I tested positive on Thursday, so a few days. How are you feeling better though? Because usually, at least nowadays, it seems like most people, hopefully, well, it's hard to say. It varies from person to person, but at least. Yeah, just how are you feeling now? Just do something with him. Gotta head out to my friend's thing. Enjoys Gris. It's a beautiful game. And remember to vote for the drum brigade. Thank you, Donald. I hope you have fun at your friend's not birthday birthday party. Pops out of Esper's hair. Hi, Diamond. How's it going? How are you doing today? Right, Ash and Sylvain need better alts too. I mean, I would like to see their academy versions in the game. But I wouldn't be mad if they got another seasonal alt. I would not be mad. Oh, that reminds me. The new- we're supposed to be getting the new banner trailer tonight, aren't we? Um... 
the the banner what for chat help me out here the in the, the new banner video should be dropping in two and a half hours is that correct typically i think based on what the silhouettes we saw last uh last night wednesday and thursday were the worst the first few days usually are a bit of friday too so right now i'm recovering today was a lot better though that's good hopefully by monday you're like back to full speed or at least like you know getting there Two and a half. Okay, cool, cool, cool. At 10. Yeah, so that sounds about right. Okay, cool. And apparently it's focusing on all mages. Great. So that means that our stream will probably have ended by then. Friendly reminder that tonight at about 10 p.m., so at about the same time that we're going to be getting this banner drop, uh, we're going to be having our anime night over on our Discord server. For anybody who would like to join, we started watching Danganronpa 3, the anime, uh, and we're only, I think, four episodes in, so we're going to continue that tonight, but I wouldn't be surprised if we stopped to watch the banner first and then start the anime. So, you're more than welcome to join us for that later tonight after the stream. Kind of wish if I was going to get COVID, I would get around the 20s so that I can just play Engage all day. That's fair. That's fair. Are you, I hope you're not working, right? Like, I assume you're not going to work with the way you're feeling, right? Just so they're easy to get, unlike seasonals. That's fair, too. More dingly rumpy? More dingly rumpy. I asked retconning Violet to be some magical force motherfucker. Yeah, it feels like, I mean, I took a quick look at the silhouettes, and it seems like one of them is Ursula, and the other one is male Byleth, I think somebody pointed out. Does look like them, doesn't it? I'll be there. I need to see your reaction to this disaster. Is something about to happen in the next few episodes that we're going to be watching tonight? I do want to see Danganronpa, though. I, I am, have been enjoying it so far, for the most part. As is, uh, as if the guy doesn't have a spine sword. It's the most iconic thing about them. Yeah, I'm wondering what they're going to do with Bile if it's, if it's him. I assume it's him. Any faves from the DR3 Future cast? Um... You know, Grand Wolf, the last time we saw it, I think it had to have been, we started watching it like two or three weeks ago. We kind of started watching the anime at a really, really bad time because it was right before the holidays. And then we took one week break to watch a movie and then another week off. So it's been a while since we've seen it. So I have to admit, I don't really remember any of the new characters. I remember the new girl, the one who's like the teacher. She kind of reminds me of Junko, though, not gonna lie. But I kind of like her so far. But I don't remember any of the new, new characters. I don't remember them. After tonight, I can give you a better answer, though. Oh, you're working from home? Okay. But gave plenty of notice that I'd be logging off if I was in a condition. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's good that you at least have that flexibility. It's good that you have that flexibility, for sure. Colorless Tome Infantry Male Violet? Maybe. I suppose it's overdue for that, right? Some kind of disaster happens every episode, let's be real. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right, Gronwolf. I'm just glad that Fuyuhiko is there. Because Fuyuhiko is my favorite character from the DR2 cast. And I'm glad he's there. It's also really funny. I mean, the show's great so far. The first four episodes were pretty solid. Yeah. They really killed off Bandai- wait, killed off Bandai right away? Who is Bandai? I don't- oh, that character. Wait, I think that was the character that I actually liked. The character they got killed? I don't remember. I have to- I don't remember. Imagine if we get Joshua's mother- oh, uh, wait. I don't know what Joshua's mother's name is, actually. He rules over- she rules over Jihana. Is that her name, though? Let me lower the volume a little bit. I don't remember what Joshua's mother's name is. It actually wouldn't be the worst idea, though. They could make her drop dead gorgeous and a super powerful tome unit, and people would, would like, swoon for her. A majority hates Juzo, but loves his muscles. I don't know who that is. Ismer? Oh, that's her name, Ismer. Okay, she's a sword fighter, though. She's a sword father? Sword father? Sword fighter? Slay? The black farmer with the high-pitched voice. The black farmer with the high-pitched voice. 
There is a character in the new cast, in the future, the new cast, it feels, they look like an adult, but they have the voice of a young girl. And that to me is very confusing. Is that who you're referring to? Would Violet be a 5-star demote or a Tempest trial unit? They'd have to be a 5-star unit. I would think. Because I know Silhouettes always shows one demote and one 5-star unit. I see Ursula being a demote more than I see Violet. Personally. She's in the Sacred Stones creature campaign. Probably the best of them besides Leon. Oh really? Okay. If it is him. If it is him, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who it could be. But, um, I hope it's a skip. I really hope it's a skip because I need my orbs. I am probably going to be doing a summoning session tomorrow. Probably going to be doing a summoning session tomorrow because the Forging Bonds revival that we have right now is too good. I have to summon for Lilith and... Gustav, their fodder is too good, and my units want that good smoke skill. Those good smoke skills. Juzo is the guy with the wavy hair, wears a jacket with a fur hood and a white beard. I don't remember who that is. I will remember who these characters are after tonight. Ban some of these, I don't even know if I've even heard some of these characters' names yet. Bandai is the adult man with the girl's voice. Oh! Yeah, I don't quite understand that, but I hope we under- I, I assume we'll get a- Oh, there's images. I assume we'll get an explanation. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not living for Bandai or the choices that they've made so far, but they seem nice, at least. Need to skip because Legendary Sigurd is waiting for me. Gonna see if I can plus 10 him. Oh, good luck. This engaged cup better be slay. I, it better be good. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm, I hope it's good. I think it's just a gag. Is it really just a gag? Hi, Zixel. How's it going? Quickly passing by. Wishing you a great session. Thank you. It's late in your time zone. Have a good night. Take care. Not gonna lie. Forgot we get another seasonal banner this month. We... Wait. Oh, yeah. The one that we're about to get. Yeah, the desert one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Witness violence among other participants is such a bullshit reason to die. It kind of is a... Bullshit reason to die. Witness violence among other participants. It's also a really difficult one. Because, like, if you see anybody being violent towards somebody else, like, you, yeah, that's, like, really, like, like, you gotta, like, hold yourself up in a closet then. Please tell me what slay means. I... You want me to define the word slay in a modern gay context? Did him Doherty? Doherty. Doherty. Did him Doherty. Some of the fucking rules in that killing game was stupid. I need a refresher. I need to watch the episodes tonight. <laughs> I need a refresher. Slay is just like the thing that you say as like... I don't know. It's like when you see somebody do something really, really cool, really, really badass, really, really fierce. It's like slay. Like, yes, you slayed that. Except that we've shortened it. It's like now you don't need to say, oh, you really slayed that. Now you can just say slay. Or like, I'm about to slay. I can't believe I'm defining this. Yeah, like that's, that's basically what it means. It's very, like it's... And now sometimes, like, people will just say that's very slay. Like, we'll use it, like, as an adjective. Because it means it's, like, very cool or very badass or very fierce or very, like, insert positive adjective. You know? What? What about the big bar bear? There's a werewolf in... I don't... I'm lost. You guys... You guys have lost me. Um, alright, um, we are gonna go ahead and jump into this game. It's 7.43. We have to stop by 10 p.m. because that's when our scheduled anime night is, so... Two hours and 15 minutes? That's, that's pretty solid, I think. And I'm gonna be taking my time with this game. I don't know anything about it, but... Whatever. Banda's voice doesn't have an in-universe explanation. The team just thought it'd be funny to have a big buff guy with a high-pitched voice. Choices. Choices. Okay. I don't see the joke. 
but okay. Low hanging fruit. Should have done it with Gozu. I don't know who that is, but all right. Um, let's start. This game is beautiful from what I've seen. Um, full screen. Here, I'm gonna, let me unmute this game and also I'm gonna lower the volume on our little sonic music. Um, there we go. And let me unmute this. This game looks beautiful. It looks quite solemn. So I apologize if this brings the mood down. Hopefully it's, I really don't know anything actually. I don't even know what kind of tone this game goes for, but it's really pretty and I'm just excited to give it a shot. <laughs> um, there we go. I remember seeing Wee Weebie News playthrough S. I don't know what that is. What is S? What is SDRA two? Whoever she told the character to slay, she would. She was like, "No, not like that." And on several occasions, the character she said to slay ended up killing someone. <laughs> not not slay in the literal sense. Yeah, when somebody says slay, they're not referring referring to like slay in the literal sense of like murdering something. It's just like, you know, what's the word? Hyperbolic? Or, or is that oxymoron? I don't remember. But it's like, you know, you're exaggerating. It's like, you really killed that, you know? Like, you really you really slayed that challenge or whatever. It's the all forget me being a slot online. What? To the type of person I am, very much cover my whole... I mean... Oh. Alright, we're gonna start the game. I don't know what's happening. All in the case of Megan, it's both. Mike, everybody... I keep seeing Megan all over my Twitter feed. And I'm like... I guess I need to see this movie. Because I... Every gay person online seems to really stan this character. This robot murderer thing. Girl thing that I see. All the Twitter gays are hyping it. All of them are. And I'm like, I don't go out of my way to see movies unless I'm really hyped for it. But like, it's garnished so much attention. Garnished? Garnered? That's not the right. That's not how you use that word. It's gotten so much attention that I like, I feel like I need to see it now. It's because she danced in that one trailer. I remember seeing that, but like, I didn't pay it any thought because I don't like dolls and it it reminded me too much of chucky and i was like this is a horror movie right or like a thriller or a psycho suspense movie or something like that like that's not that's not my cup of tea <laughs> that shit scares me if i'm gonna go see a movie like that is it scary has anybody seen has anybody has anybody in chat seen megan and if so can you please in a spoiler free way just uh, give me your thoughts and impressions and recommendations. Also, hello, Tom. Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. Don't think I said hi to you. Hello. I garnished my attention with lemon. <laughs> I was like, I am not using this word correctly. I know a lot of words, but I don't always put them together correctly. One review I saw said it was light on the horror. Like, the advertising is deceptive, they said. Okay. 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 I need to see it, I think. It's gotten... It, it continues to plague my Twitter feed that, like... I feel like I should see it. I feel like I should. But I hope I don't get scared. The last time I watched a horror movie... I don't know if you can even really call it a horror movie. Do you guys remember... This was, like, pre-pandemic. <laughs> lifetime ago. Do you guys remember... What was it called? It was, like... Bird Box? No. It was that movie where you couldn't see. And by you, I mean the characters. Like, the, like it was like a woman and her two children on a raft, floating down the river, sailing to some sort of sanctuary because you couldn't see things or something like that. Do you remember? Bird Box. It was Bird Box. Okay. Hello. Oh my god, that's Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? The Sandra Bullock one? Yes! I was like, I was trying to remember the actor's name, but I couldn't remember who it was. Yes. Do you guys remember Bird Box? I watched that movie, but not in theaters. Um, because <laughs> I don't like suspenseful movies. I don't like movies that stress me out. Because they stress me out. I got 
I was based. Long story short, I watched it with a guy in a hookup context because we ended up. I got. It was actually very. I guess it was cinematic in a way. I got scared. He was right there. We meshed. Bodies melded. Uh, and then yeah. Uh, such as the human experience. We hooked up right afterwards. So I guess well, that's just how it goes, I suppose. Uh, but that's like the last time I watched a, a movie of any horror esque genre, and so that is all to say that I just don't watch these kind of movies. Unless I have a good reason to. Do you like bodies, bodies, bodies? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go get dinner downstairs. I'll try to be back soon. No worries, Cece. Not hook up context. I mean, I'm just telling it how it is. That's the way it happened. <laughs> Did I give it a better rating? I was actually pleasantly surprised by how much I was invested in Bird Box. I actually really enjoyed it. It was very creepy, and it did fuck with my emotions just a little bit. And I'm the kind of person that like I I listen to the audio cues when I'm when I'm watching something that I know is scary or considered suspenseful. I list I pay so much attention to the music. Because you know, a, a, a psycho thriller, they will like, you know, they'll play those creepy tones underneath and they'll like crescendo when something's about to like jump scare you. Like, I pay attention to that because I don't want to be scared. And so every time I heard some sort of, you know, underscoring or whatever, I would like grab onto him. <laughs> I would grab onto him tighter <laughs> because I knew that something was coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Sandra Bullock is a very good actress. She is a very great actress. Didn't, am I crazy? Am I misremembering? Didn't Bird Box, like, flop in the, I don't, I mean, I don't pay attention to, like, uh, movies or how they do in the box office and whatever, but, like, I vaguely remember that that movie either tanked in the box office or it just, like, didn't get good reviews. I don't remember. Was he tall? Did you at least... Yeah. Yes, actually. Did you at least look like a cute little koala? Yeah, he's like... He's... He's very big. Uh, I... May or may not be seeing him again in two weeks, actually. Um, but yes. Yes to all that. <laughs> um, it was a good time. It was a good time. And I did enjoy the movie, actually. I did enjoy Bird Box, actually. I actually literally like the ending, although it was creepy. It was creepy. I would rewatch it, except that I don't want to put myself through that again. So I won't. But I feel like if I'm gonna watch Megan, it won't be alone. That is for sure. <laughs> it will not be alone, and it will not be at a movie theater, probably. This protein shake is hitting right now. Cool. All right. Um, this game does not give me an option setting, which is very interesting. It's just exit and new game. There's no options menu. I wanted to balance audio before we get started, but okay. I'm playing on a controller. Hopefully that's fine. Uh, Jordy about to hop on Grinder to find a guy to watch Megan with. No, no, I would not do that. I considered it for a second there, but I would not. If that's the case, I hope you get to see it soon. <laughs> Tom. Have you seen it, Tom? Let's get started. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, let me just audio. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, there's the cover art. Whoa. Is she singing? Wait. Oh. Oh my 
gosh. Whoa. Oh, it's really loud. I'm sorry. There we go. This game is very pretty. Come on, creative director. If the game is too loud at any point, please let me know. Things break when I sing. <laughs> that was very pretty. I don't know what just happened, but it was very pretty. This game might tug at my heartstrings. I feel like it will. I don't know anything about its plot, but I remember hearing that the game has something to do with the five stages of grief. I think the word gris itself is French, maybe? Or it's certainly in a different language, I think? Wouldn't be surprised if it's a translation for the word grief. I don't know. I'm guessing here. But that's what I vaguely remember hearing, that it's this game is about the five stages of grief. She's got these skinny, skinny arms. Wait, can we move? Oh, we can move. Oh, I love the art style. Turn to the left first. Well, that's what we're doing. Oh, wait, Diamond, have you played this game too? I love how Diamond's always played every, like, obscure game that we play on stream. Wait, what is this? I pressed A. She fell to her knees. Can I get up? Hold on. Hold on. What does that do? Can I jump? I'm trying to jump. But she falls to her knees. I feel like A is the typical... A is usually the jump button. Can I keep going? No, I can't. Is there something here? Every time I press a button, she falls to her knees. I can't help but wonder if... Is that supposed to happen or are we just like in tutorial mode? If I'm missing something, please let me know. But otherwise, I'm just going to go back the other way. It's very pretty, though. Huh. Oh, what's happening? What are those? Gris means gray? Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Is it in French? Or what language is that? Oh. Oh. There we go. We're running! And we're jumping! Can I go back the way I came? I got the feeling that there was something there. Oh, we just... Okay. <gasps> Wait. Is this... What is this? It looks like a statue of a... Person? A woman, maybe? I can't go any further. Can I interact with it? Huh. When I press the B button, she, like, inhales? Or exhales? But, like, nothing- she's, like, exhaling, but nothing comes out. Spanish? That's really Spanish? Wait, really? Not me being a bad Latin. Is the game audio fine, or is it loud? No, I think it's soft. Can you guys hear that? Hold on. The game audio is kind of like all over the place. It sounds really loud to me, but I think it's probably just barely audible for you guys. There we go. Sorry about that. It's gonna be me. 
It's always like this when I stream a new game for the first time, especially since it didn't give me an options menu. Okay. Interesting world. I feel like I'm being taken on a cinematic journey, and I'm very excited. That moved. Hmm. I'm like trying to figure out how to interact with things, but... What is this place? It's like an entire fallen civilization that fell from the sky or something. At least she's getting her cardio. She's getting her steps in. She's getting her steps in, that's for sure. Oh. What is that? What is that? Little, little fleck of light. It's following us. Okay. We've hit a dead end. Hello? Maybe... No. Did I miss something? I must have missed something. Let's see. It like- hold on. Oh! Oh! Okay. I couldn't tell that there was a foreground and a background. Okay. Ooh. How stable is that? Can I climb up there? Wait, there's something over there! I don't think I can reach, though. Can I jump? I can't double jump in this game. I don't usually play platformers, but... Okay. Hold on, this move. Wait, can I interact with this? What do the other buttons do? The other buttons don't do anything. No, they don't. Okay. Some gay at uh, B-dubs wearing a- What is B-dubs? What is B-dubs? When I thought- When I heard you say B-dubs early, I thought you meant by the way. Wearing a shirt that says Girl Boss Gatekeep Gaslight. It's- wait, those things are moving on their own. Hello? That little thing- Why are they- Why are they moving? That's weird. Anyway, he kinda fine, not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go this way. What are these little flecks of light do? Oh. Huh? Um. Oh, I need three. In order to like, build a bridge perhaps. Buffalo Wild Wings? Buffalo Wild Wings? Why is that called B-dubs? Ooh, I cannot remember the last time. I think I've only been to Buffalo Wild Wings maybe once in my life. And it was for like a like a cast party or something like that. I'm getting Monument Valley vibes from this game. It's very pretty, but it definitely looks abandoned and I can't quite tell what's going how do I hold on. There's a there's another one up there, but I don't know how to reach it. Also, Herbs are us, how are you? Happy Saturday. Let me see. Oh. Oh girl, this is not structurally sound. What is that? That ominous looking thing? Oh, we're about to fall. Oh. Oh. Can I walk across that? Ooh! It's kinda cool. So it's like we can use starlight to create bridges or something? 
There was something over here as well. But I want to go get it. I don't know if it was on this side. Hold on. There it is. What is that? I don't know what it is. Alright, I got something. Alright, cool. Building a miniature room? A miniature room? Please tell me more. Please tell me more. What do you mean by a miniature room? W, so dub and two of them, hence the S. Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings. B dubs. Oh, okay. Is Buffalo Wild Wings good? I've, yeah, I've only been there once and I don't even remember what I would have gotten. I don't remember a game called Journey. This game kind of reminds me of that. Oh, we absolutely remember Journey. We were just talking about when we played Journey just a few days ago. Journey was fun. I love Journey a lot. This this game does kind of remind me of it. It gives me similar vibes too. Which I welcome. Journey was a very refreshing game to play on stream. Very a nice departure from the games we usually play. I like those kind of vibes. Oh, there's another hand. Are there other broken statues around here? Oh. 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 gorgeous. I don't know what's happening, but... <laughs> Everything's red now. Can anybody remind me, what are the five stages of grief? I want to see if there's a... I want to see... want to figure out how to connect them. I want to figure... Because I feel like there's definitely something... Some sort of connection here between them. But... I don't know what it is. D A. Wait, what is that? Dabda. What is that? <laughs> Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Okay. Denial. I wonder. Could, could that have been denial? Is that why we're seeing red now? Maybe. Maybe. So pretty, but so lost. Yeah, there's a brand that sells sets of buildings where you put them to put together everything. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they're like literal miniature rooms. That's kind of fun. I could see that being a really fun, like little escapist thing to like entertain yourself with for sure. I assume anger. Oh, do you think that we're going out of order? Cause yeah, when you think of anger, we usually associate that to the color red. There are flowers, though, over there. We haven't seen any flowers up until this moment, I think. I'm trying to big brain this game and figure out what it's about. Huh. Hmm. Okay. I think I need... another one of those circle... things. I don't know, we're figuring this out as we go along. I just realized there's actually life. Not just flowers, but like actually trees? Did we see that before? Were there trees before that I just missed? The red sky is really pretty. Pretty. Most mental health professionals will tell you that the five stages of grief don't go all go in order and that people go back and forth between stages even when they reach acceptance. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. That's a really interesting idea to explore. 
um, if that's what this game is doing. I don't know that it, that it is, but that's like that's that's what I'm assuming. But I don't know. What is this? Okay, I don't want to go there because I feel like there's probably something else up here that we might have missed. They weren't kidding. This G really do be rissy. <laughs> Did you get your food, CC? I think that's what you're doing, right? Getting dinner? Alright, maybe there isn't something up here. But this game is still pretty, and I'm... I enjoy that. I hope there's... I was about to say, I hope there's no fall damage. <laughs> I feel like there... I'm supposed to come back... There's something... Hold on. Hello? Please hold... Wait, hello? Oh, wait. Don't tell me I can't return now. Aw, oh, shit. I can't jump past this. Hello? Oh my god, I don't- okay, I guess I can't go back now. Alright. Let's keep going. Yeah, what is that? What does that mean? Hmm, I don't know. It was a miserable microwave pizza, but it wasn't inedible, and a third of the price of anything around it, and I appreciate that. That's good. Was it like DiGiorno? Because I love me a good DiGiorno pizza. TBH. If I fall down there, will I die? No, I don't think so, actually. But that's a wall. I can't read. Fuck. Oh, it looks like when you unlock a certain number of, s of circle things, it there's like a different constellation shown above, and I guess I unlock whatever that is. Um... Mario, thank you so much for the sub. Here's my money now, you say. Mario, thanks for the sub. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Mario, thanks for the sub. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is typically what I say. I'm gonna eat, so I'm gonna be off a minute. Have fun with Gris. Thank you, Gronolf. No problem. Enjoy your meal. How are you doing, Mario? How is this Saturday treating you? Tony's? Oh, wait, I've heard that brand. That also just sounds like a generic Italian name. Like, if you if you told me that you went to Tony's to get some pizza, I would just be like, yeah, I bet it was really good. <laughs> With a name like that? Yeah, probably. Oh. This part definitely reminds me of Journey because of how we were constantly sliding through the sands. This definitely feels like it's also like trying to communicate the, the passage of time with the sun in the back moving across the horizon. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a video game developer, I would want to create something like this. This is beautiful. I can't say that the gameplay is challenging or innovative at, at the moment, but like, it's beautiful to look at, and that's, there's a journey in that of itself. You know, that there's, I already feel like I've had an experience with just the storytelling we've gotten so far. I don't know what's happening, but I'm enjoying the ride. Doing well? I don't know. I'm stressing about school and now. I don't know if we're having a D&D &D session. If you're... That sucks. Although, not having to worry about a D&D &D session sounds like a, a nice way to ease in the burden of worrying about school. So that's good, at least. Other than that, Swell, very pretty game. It is a very pretty game. Oh! Well, there is a title sequence. Alrighty. Wee. We love falling. All right. Oh wait, now where are we? This is where we were, right? I. Oh wait, there is something there. Slay. All right, cool. We got a circle thingy. Put that journey in a gurney. <laughs> <laughs> I think games shouldn't always be reinventing things. I agree. I don't think it's always necessary. Plus, like, 
there is more to a game than like the gameplay itself, which sounds kind of weird to say it, but it's like you don't need in you don't need innovative mechanics. There's a lot more that goes into a video game than just the mechanics itself. And I feel like Gris is a good way a good way to exemplify so far that sometimes the visuals and the storytelling is really like it can be the core. As long as you're taking I feel like when it comes I don't know, for me like it can be a lot of things. And it's gonna vary from game to game. But sometimes for me personally, a good story can do a lot of heavy lifting. A lot of heavy lifting. What is this place? Lots of rocks. Oh, we're in a desert. Oh. Whoa. It seems like we want to be indoors whenever one of those harsh winds blow. I don't know if there's any way to anticipate them, though. I thought that tree was a menorah. It definitely looked like a menorah. Uh, you're not alone. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. So it sounds like... Okay, we can always find cover with the rocks, at least. Hold on. Is this going to blow us back? Are we safe here? I'm trying to find coverage. Oh, the music. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah! Okay. Can I pause? Okay. Well, I don't want to pause the game because it's so pretty. Let games be there is a reason I like trash games. Trash games. Hold on. If I could just get indoors really quickly and then read your moment, your chat. There we go. As long as it doesn't blow us back. Okay, great. Great. Am I safe here? Okay. Let's see. Okay, I am. I'm indoors. Great. Most of the things out of my control, so I can stress later. So I'm just gonna chill here to keep my mind busy. I would do the same thing too. It's a Saturday night. I wouldn't want to be stressing about school or like sessions on a on a weekend. That the tr uh, I love games where there's no dialogue helps you piece together and it feels more engaging. I agree. I mean, don't get me wrong. Dialogue is great. Dialogue can be fine. But when a game, oh fuck. Oh fuck. This music gets very eerie. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm impressed at her ability to withstand and endure that sandstorm or whatever is blowing. Okay, if I could just get inside really quickly. I seem to be safe when I'm inside here, one of these buildings. Um the red is anger. It definitely feels like it's anger now. The way that it comes and goes in these, like, hot flashes. Oh, fuck. No, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I gotta go back. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I'm not gonna make it. I feel like another... St yep, storm's coming. If I just stay here under this... Nope. Okay. I'm starting to get the hang of this game now. <laughs> sort of. Oh, I can't. Wait, can I jump? Hold on. Okay. There we go. Get inside the building. Use your little... I think there's a button that lets me, like, connect the dots. Uh-oh, there's a storm coming. There it is. I can hear it in the music. <sighs> okay. Right off of that ledge over there, there was like, it wants me to connect the dots and build a bridge. Let me see if I can do that. Hello? Wait, it says I'm missing one. I'm missing one. I thought, oh, I, I do only have one. I thought I had two. Where am I going to find another one? All right, we're going to keep going in just a sec. Once this storm passes, maybe it's further up ahead. Or maybe I missed it behind me. No, let's go further up ahead. Maybe it's up ahead. Alright, I'm missing one. Just one. Okay. Nice little alcove. 
There we go. That's the one we were missing. I should have just gone a little bit further. The storm doesn't reach us from down here, though. Missing a singuloid white dot. Yep, but we found it now. If I could just make it back over there quickly enough. I don't think I will, though. I don't think I will. Nope. Okay. If the game gives you just enough time to run from that building, that cave over here. I do appreciate that it's also synced up with the music. That is a nice touch. There we go. Slay. All right. Okay. There it is. And just enough time to walk into this rock fixture. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Huh. <laughs> Okay. That's kind of cool. Can I reach that? I think I can. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. I got whatever it was. Cool. All right. Oh, there's another one. E, e, I can't reach it. How do I get that? I don't think there's a way for me to get that. I can't reach it. Fuck. Eldritch Spider Rock that reminds me of a heart. It did Wait, okay, so I'm not the only one that saw that. It also reminded me of a heart. I also saw a heart. Like an actual anatomic- wait. Oh, I can destroy this. Wait, how do I... Do you see it crumbling? As I jump on it... How, though? Am I doing it? Is it eroding? Maybe you like... I'm trying... Uh oh. Go back around to a higher place and jump onto it from there. Oh. Let me see. Oh, I don't know if I can. Ah, oh, maybe I missed my opportunity to. I don't think I can go back up now. Fuck. I think I missed my chance then. Because I can't get any higher ground from where I'm at now. Fuck. Okay. Hey Rambo, how's it going? Hope all is well. Merry, merry belated Christmas and happy, happy new year. Thanks so much. It's been a minute. How have you been, Rambo? Happy new year to you as well. Okay, I don't think I can, I, I don't think I can get to that anymore. I think I missed my window of opportunity, but that's fine. An ass blast. Yeah, I don't think the ass is thick enough for it, unfortunately, but it's all right. It's not like we can just ground pound our way through this like a Yoshi. Ah oh, shit. Girlie is fighting for her life out here. We unlock bombs. Yeah, we don't have any weaponry in this game. I also kind of get the impression that this game isn't about violence. Which is cool. It's refreshing too. It's like Journey. Oh, what's happening? Oh! Wait a minute! Hold X? Well... Giving us a Kirby simulation. This is actually- wait, this is gonna be perfect for the sandstorms. Hold up. That's l like, right, that's literally what we needed. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> to me, at least. I wonder if you get a circle to roll around faster. 
slay. All right. Good job. We got it. We did it. Maybe. And a triangle to uh, become Dorito shaped. Um, I bet. Hold on. Yeah, this holds me in place. Oh, and we can sort of move around through it with it, too. It's just like Kirby. It's just like Kirby. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like this game so far. All right. Is there something? Hold on. The ground here is also... The ground here is also crumbly, but I don't think it reveals or unearths anything. Kirby 64 stone looking ass. Yeah, they took notes out of that book for sure. For sure. Oh, it's blowing again. There is something really, really empowering about, like, the way that she is this big block. And there is this storm, this seemingly endless storm that continues to blow, and we are still persevere <gasps> persevering in spite of it. Oh. Oh wow, these statues. I feel like, should we break it? I'm scared to, but the gamer in me is like, let's do it. This is a bad idea. I don't know. Whoa. How do we get back up? It looks like I can keep breaking it. Uh-oh. Her tears are like garlic to a vampire. Whoa, where are we? Ooh. Whoa. Huh. More crumbly spots. This is... Oh my god. All these statues of women crying. And what are those things? They kind of look like butterflies, but they also could be like really annoying moths or something. But they're following us. What a trippy game, but I love it. It is kind of trippy, but I do love it. I do love this so far. This game is, yeah, it's very cool so far. It's very cool. The changes of color, color palette, also make for a dramatic scene change. Like, clearly we're in a new world or a new story beat as a result of that color change. I assume butterflies? Oh wait, this can't be a dead end. Hold up. Whoa, do those make more? Whoa! Oh. Here we are. All those statues down there, my god. <laughs> Where do we go? I guess to the left. Some butterflies are kind of fucked up. Drink blood from the animals that they sense it. Really? Oh, what is that?
Technology? Functioning technology. Huh. So there is civilization here after all. Symbolic of moving from one stage of grief? Oh, really? I hadn't considered that. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Is this... Another big stone insect thing that's going to move on its own. I hope I'm not missing anything. It's kind of hard to tell when I'm like skipping past something that I should be interacting with. Sick of Redtopia, where is Orange Landia? Oh. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Ah. Wait, I can't get up there. Can I get up there? Help! Help! Wait, oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, it's it's okay. It's going to move on its own. Okay, got it. Wait, stay still. Fuck. No. Okay, there we go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. But I want to explore this entire area first. Hold on. That's where I came from. There must be something on the other side. Wait. Am I missing one? I'm missing one. Oh, okay. So we have to go the other way. We have to go the other way. Okay. Should I be afraid to fall? Hold on. Is there something down there? I think there's something down there. Oh. I was right. Hmm. Oh. I feel like this game really embraces the idea of falling. Falling is not death in this game. Falling is just another means of exploration. Which is a fun idea. That perhaps we should embrace more often. Um... But how do I get over there? Okay. How do I get over there? Hmm. No. It tilts. Should I? Ooh. Oh. Uh huh. And that's just what we needed. Perfect. Um. Is there anything else over here before we leave this area? I feel like the game wants us to go up there, but I'm not 100% sure. I feel like there's something up there on that windmill, but I can't... I don't know how to get up there. I can't reach unless... Oh. Ooh! Okay. The brain is turning on. 
The brain is working. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. Brain churn activate. The starting area was denial because of gray. Okay, that checks out. Wait, no, no, fuck. Help. Okay, I'm trying to hop from one to another. But this is harder than I thought. Do I just... How long can I stay on this before it, like, tilts me over? Okay. Can I- When can I- Oh! I can just- oh, okay. <laughs> Boom! What do those things- I don't know what those things do. But, alright. I know it's a tank top, but the shape of your shirt always autofills to bikini? Wait. Autofills? Oh, like in your brain? Yeah, it's a tank top. I don't wear bikinis. Alright, let's go this way. Um, there's nothing underneath there, is there? Hold on. It kind of looks like there's something down there. Oh, wait, I think there is, actually. Hold on. We didn't go that way, did we? Oh, wait. No, this is a dead end. Oh, the game is telling you you cannot go further. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way. Let's not do that, then. Puzzles involve timing and platformers always stress me out. I don't feel stressed playing this game. I feel like that's intentional. I don't think the developers want you to feel stressed playing this game. I think they just want to take you on, emotion on an emotional journey without stress, which I kind of live for, you know? I kind of live for that. All right. I like the little bells. <laughs> I think mostly because I played a lot of stressful or more difficult platformers in the past. No, yeah, that's perfectly valid. I don't play too many uh, platformers. Uh, I do not play very many, so it's been a while, actually. Oh, it's those things again. I think they want me to go upwards. Um, I just want to make sure there's nothing this way. It kind of looked like there was something over here. Nope, dead end. I appreciate the game, like, putting an invisible wall there to let me know that you don't need to keep walking this direction. Like, you're going to be wasting your time if you do. Okay. You can definitely... Hold on. Can we climb this way? Nope. Okay. Oh, this wants to be broken, though. Oh! I love how they just suspend themselves in space. Okay. Um, hold on. Anything up here? No. This is definitely, like, my kind of platform. Just, like, not stressful, but, like, takes you on a ride. Takes you on a very beautiful ride. Wait, this isn't where we were at before, right? It looks like where we were at before. Is this where we were at before? I don't think so. No, this one has two. Can I do both? Ooh, I think I can only do one at a time. Oh. I have to do one at a time. Oh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. How do we do this one? Okay. Butterflies can represent the human soul. How so? Let me see. Alright, there's definitely something. Let's figure this out. How do we get through this map? Am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Do I need something? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Am I stuck now? Uh-oh. Okay, the game does not want me to go back. Alright, so there is a way to solve this puzzle within this room. I just need to turn on my brain and figure out what it is. Hmm. 
I can't fall down there. Okay. Oh! I was wondering if there was a way I could just activate both. There we go. Alright, let's see which way to go first. Hmm, let's go to the left first again. Butterflies. You want me to go up? Oh, there's a thing right there. Uh, how do I get that? How do I get that? Hold on. How do I get over there? Hmm. That looks like a hot air balloon. My controller is vibrating and I'm not sure why. Is it because of the- it's probably because of the glow, but I don't think there's any way for me to go down there. How do I get that? I wonder if we're gonna be unlocking a new power soon. Maybe. That is a slide. Oh! Ooh, hold on. Wait, please don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Wait! Okay, thank god. Wait. How do I get that? Hold on. <laughs> How do I get that, though? Ah, fuck. <laughs> I feel like we're onto something. How do I get up there? <laughs> Wait! I feel like I messed up. I messed up. Oh, just holding it. Like that. There we go. Wait! Okay. Okay, I got an idea. I've got an idea. No, okay, hold on. Okay, this actually requires some precision on my end. I think I have to let this sink to the bottom, race to the top, and jump onto that platform. Okay, go, 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 go. I think that's what it is. Go, 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 go. Okay, great. Brain working over time. <laughs> this is a lot more thinking than I usually do, for sure. Okay, and this one definitely wants to be broken. Uh-huh. Alright. Yes! Alright, I love being rewarded. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. And then we can slide. Whee! Cool! Oh my god, I can't believe I actually solved that. <laughs> I feel like I'd be too stupid to figure that out. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's go back. Oh, okay, did not mean to do that. Mm, let's see, all right, let's go to the right this time. Hmm, all right, what's over here? Big rock. Um, go that way. Hello. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to climb on top of that rock and break it. Oh, I can just walk past you. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to fall on top of that and break it.
Oh. Okay, where'd it go? Wow, these guys are strong. Where are you going? Oh, we lifted it up, so now I can reach this thing. Cool. I think I have enough of the star thingies in order to move to the next area. I think. I don't know. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Can I climb up there? Hold on. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. All right. This is a dead end. Little spider rock friend. Yeah, it reminds me of the little, um... Those tiny little spirits from Spirited Away, the ones that work for, uh, the soot, soot balls. The ones that work for Kamaji in the boiler room. Reminds me of those little guys. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, yes, okay. Is this like a giant windmill? It must be. We're in like a desert and it's clear that they rely on wind power. Is this a long game? Not at all. Not at all, Mario. Um, re reviews said that this game takes anywhere between three to six hours to finish. I'm trying to take my time with it. Um to really extend this game and give it two streams worth of uh, content, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe they should just grow electricity like our hardworking electric farmers, oh yeah. Just gotta put, pull themselves up by the bootstraps. Yeah, this is a very short game from my understanding. Okay, hold on, let's do this again. Ooh, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna need more weight. Hmm, okay. Is this a dead end? Yes. Alright, so there's definitely some way to solve this. I just don't know yet what. Understandable quality over quantity. Thoroughly enjoying this. I am as well. Hmm. How do we get down there? We need more weight. I'll know this is... I know that the... I will know that the answer is in this room if I can't go back the way I came. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. No, the answer is somewhere... I need to figure out what I'm doing in order to, ant to figure this out. Because I can't go back and I can't go forward. Huh. Maybe this is a high fall one? Hmm. Maybe. Can I reach? Hold on. Never mind, I'm blanking. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit too. This this actually this area has actually got me a little bit stumped. You definitely want to fall though, for sure, because just pressing the button doesn't give you enough leverage. You gotta like. Yeah, I wish I could climb these things. Hmm. 
Can I? Wait a minute. Hold on. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Now we're getting the height that we need. Oh, and there's an opening at the top. How convenient. Boop. Are you serious? I thought I solved this. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's go back though. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. There's a way to do this. There's definitely a way to do this. Those who say video games aren't art never saw this game. I... I don't in interact with people that have that notion anymore. Yeah, no, that, that's such a- I feel like that's such a dated and antiquated ideology at this point. The video games aren't art. Or can't be art, I should say. Hold on, let me make sure there's nothing over here as well, actually. Can I- hold on, can I go up there too? Can I get even more height? Uh, I think so. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. We are doing one hell of a drop. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. We are a stunt queen today. All right. Let's do this. Slick! Is she gonna jump from there? <laughs> yes, is she gonna jump from there? <laughs> oh, this isn't a windmill, it's an elevator. The way I thought it, I had solved it that time. <laughs> it's pretty funny to me. All right. White rocks. We haven't seen any yet. Hmm. Oh, we have. I'm sorry. We have seen some white rocks. Those are those have been the statues so far. Can I fall? This game tends to reward falling. Not reward, but like... You're not gonna die. Okay, this is a dead end, right? Yeah, no, I have to climb all the way to the top. Okay, okay. They taste like Smarties. The white rocks? Actually, that's a really good... I was like trying to think of what candy they reminded me of and like, wait, yes, yes. There are white Smarties. That's probably what they taste like. You're actually right. <laughs> That's what I imagine them tasting like. That is the candy that came to mind, but you put the right name to it. <gasps> it's another hand. Green. Oh. Ooh, this is beautiful. Crush me, smarty statue. This is gorgeous. Oh, no more desert. We're in the rainforest now. Not the statue of Litter V. Can you guess what green means? Um When I hear the when I hear the word green, I think of like envy, quite honestly. 
wait, did I go the right way? I thought I was going the wrong way. I was intentionally going the wrong way because I like going the wrong way because sometimes you can find hidden gems going the wrong way. And that's what I thought I was doing. I assumed it because, you know, with side scrollers, so many times going right is forward and left is back. Oh, okay, never mind. That's a dead end. All right, cool. I love that for us. Anything but the green pyre. Oh, my neck. Orange Landia. The way we skipped orange, yellow, orange, and yellow just to go straight to green. Oh, are we going to get a new power in this area? Oh, there's a constellation forming in the sky with all these stars that we keep collecting. Oh, but we just lost all of our stars. No! We needed those. Okay. Oh, th those, those menorahs are definitely trees. Oh, wait. This looks just like the very first building. Because it had that le leaning tower constellation on the side. This isn't the same building we were at before, is it? I don't think so. No. But then there's the same symbol right there. Huh. It is? Yeah, I was going to say, like, it looks... It actually looks like the same building, but with, like, the added foliage now oh I didn't recognize that that's a tree or at least that's clearly what it's supposed to be Whoa! Oh my god. Those butterflies are out for blood. Wait! I can't go further! But I can't go back either! Oh shit. There's life here. Ooh, the area is red and green. Which way are we supposed to go? I'm trying to figure out which way is forward and which way is back. Because <laughs> I want to go the opposite direction. Look at those little guys. There's something about the way that the way the grass is drawn that it like it almost resembles hair. I I don't know if that's intentional, but like that's sort of what came to mind. Like Mother Nature vibes. Just because, you know, this game obviously has a lot of, um, like, you know, references women a lot. Uh, oh, whoa, wait a second. Oh, hold on. It might not be intentional, but that's sort of like what I interpreted seeing this. I hear chirping. Oh, he's struggling with... The Wait. Oh. You run away. No, don't run away. Don't run away. Come back. I'm alone in this world and I need a friend. Come back. There is... 
life here, though. It's not like that desert we were at where the only thing, you know, only life there was like these, like, boulder-carrying creatures. Oh, there, wait, is that him again? He's running away! Don't run away! What color presents what stages? No, I'm I'm okay with figuring it out. I'm oh. <laughs> oh, that's a time platformer. Okay. Hold on, I gotta I gotta time this out to actually get this right. It's really beautifully drawn. Can I reach that? Yes. Beautifully drawn. I love this game's art style. It's very unique. <laughs> the little box in the foreground. Okay. This is probably a dead end. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, we gotta time this. I feel like I should keep going. Hold on. This can't be it. Hold on. No, there's definitely more. Yeah, I thought so. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Okay. That's kind of hard to... Okay. I got bamboozled. Ah! Wait! Oh! Oh, there we go! Okay. Yes! Okay. Very shapular. Yes, very shapular. There we go. We got the thingy. Now we can fall. I had a feeling. I was like, I feel like there's something there. I feel like it wants us to keep going. Oh my god, my fucking... Oh, I'm getting old. Oh. Oh! This ground wants to break. Okay, we're gonna break it. An apple! It's the cube friend! <gasps> it ate it! It's eating the apple! I know where you live. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself, please! I'm lonely! It stole my apple kill. Don't kill it! I just want to be friends. Baby! Oh, it's following! <gasps> Please! Oh! It is shy. Make it the channel mascot. I am not gonna make it the channel mascot. But nice try. <laughs> it is very cute, though. It is very cute. <laughs> it hides. Okay, more cubes. These don't vanish. Hello? Oh! They want apples. <laughs> I don't think I can reach that other one, though. Oh wait, yes I can. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get it all the apples. We're gonna get it all the apples. He's the way he's following me even from down there, that's really cute. <laughs> Aw. The way he just like chucks the core when he finishes eating it. It's very cute. Okay, this tree doesn't have any apples. This one doesn't either. Only the one on the far left. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this isn't a question, but a demand. It's so cute. Wait. 
Oh my god. Are you... Are you gonna hide from me again? <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Is this where it lives? Thank you for feeding me. It is now I have the strength to wipe. Now I have the strength to wipe out humanity. Uh oh. This little guy's a friend. He's showing me around his living quarters. Lots of apple cores. Oh. If this little guy somehow dies and gets killed, I will be devastated. Hold on. If I jump, can, can you jump too? Hold on. Oh, okay. You gotta follow too. You can't jump as high though. There we go. There we go. Okay, you got this. Yeah, you can't leave without him. I had a feeling. Oh, this is so cute. I love having a little companion. His name is Pedro, and he is now the channel mascot. Okay, he is not going to be the channel mascot. But I will concede to naming him Ped Pedro. Pedro. His name is Pedro. I will concede to that. He's very cute. All right. Let me see. Are there more trees? Is that why we're splitting paths? Let me see. This, no, this wants to be broken. That's why. <gasps> he mimics what I do. Oh. Oh, that's so adorable. That is so cute. Oh, God. He can also, like, use his little brick form. That is adorable. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where'd he go? Help, where'd he go? Oh, wait, he's up there. How the... How'd he get up there? Okay. I don't know how he did it, but all right. Oh. Wait. Okay, I don't know. All right. There you go. Good job. I don't know what the point of that was, but good job. That was probably the game teaching us that he will do what you do. In case you hadn't already picked it picked up on that. That was probably the game's opportunity to teach you that. Oh, another apple. Ah. I love that he just learns by watching you. That is adorable. Ah, okay. So this is the part where the game is going to teach. All right. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, we're separated. Oh, but he can destroy that. And I can destroy this. And we meet in the middle. Oh. Oh, he's the way he's <laughs> tumbling. Wait, come back. Hold on. I'll go get you. There's an apple here. If I could pick it up for him. The new power was Pedro who will steal your food and will follow you on TikTok. Not the following on TikTok. Hey, little guy. You okay? There's an apple over here. Hold on. Let's go give it to you. I know you want it. There you go. Aw, he loves those apples. This, the game, this game, it, it already had me hooked from the visual art style, but now you include a cute little, a cute little buddy that follows you around and mimics what you do. That's it. That's it. All right. 
Wait, can I not go in there? No, you're not gonna do this to me. The second I fall in love with this new character, you're gonna take them away from me? Stop! Stop! This is... cruel. This is the same this is the same fucking journey that I went through when we played Journey. I fell in love with having a, a little bar a little buddy, a little partner, and then the game took them away from us. Oh god. Okay, I hope that we will be reunited with them at some point. I hope. Still no new power though, much to my surprise. Unless. No, we need two. Two light thingies. Oh. Okay. Give us back Pedro. I miss him too. Let me see how much time we have. We have got 50 minutes. All right, I've got that I've got to wrap up the stream in, in the next like 45 minutes, I'll say to get ready for our anime night watch party, but this is fine. I don't feel like we're halfway through the game. We're probably approaching the halfway point, but I feel like we're good so far where am i going hold on i know that we need another light thingy but i don't know where we find it it must be around here it's got to be around here yeah this look also looks like a dead end oh maybe not no yeah it's a dead end okay great All right. Oh, all right. Please, okay. Let me just wait. Oh, these trees react to when you jump. Okay. Ah, there's one up there. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. I messed up. Okay, hold on. How do I do this? Hold on. Cause that Oh That's gonna cover if I jump, it's gonna cover it up and I'm not gonna be able to reach. Oh I know. But if I Okay, I think I figured it out. But if I just fall, it'll be fine. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I have to fall, basically. Right here? No, right here is where I fall. Fall down. Cause it, yeah, okay. And then... Uh, 
Okay, I feel like I'm supposed to go to the other side now. There we go. Boom. All right. This one took me a little bit too. I it there we go. We got it. I was like, I have a feeling cuz there's two sides to this tree. I feel like I'm not utilizing both halves. Dot acquired. Let's get drunk. <laughs> let's. Okay. We have one, but we need two. Got one. All right, let's go to the other way. It's got to be this way. I think, I guess. I don't know. I'm having a hard time remembering what areas we've already been through. This is where we came from. Okay. So don't bother. I think... Okay, so yeah, just go all the way to the far right and see what's over there. The far right is also where we came from. I think. Let's see. We'll know. The game will give us a dead end. Where is this? Oh, there's more. There's more little friends here. Oh, they're just chilling up here. That one waved. Oh. They're all like shaped differently. But our little guy is cubed. Tag yourself on that one. I like our little cube-shaped friend. They were very adorable. I wonder if they're here. They might be. No, not that one. The one I'm pointing to. Ah, of course, that one you're pointing to. Multiple Pedros, yeah, multiple Pedros. It's so cute. Ugh. Pardon me for a second. My neck. Oh my god. Ugh, my neck is really stiff. I feel like I fucked it up somehow on Wednesday uh, during my leg day. I don't know how. No, not Wednesday. I'm sorry. Oh, there he is. Hello, Pedro. Oh, he has one for me. Oh. He had one all along. Thank you. Look at all of his little, his family. Oh, he's not going to follow us anymore, but. Here we are. Oh, what a little cutie. Ugh. All right, now we have enough of our little dots to progress. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. What was that? Ah, we can double jump now. Okay. That's actually kind of big. And we can sort of... It's like a little hover. That's actually huge. That's not a shape. It's a line. It's a line segment, my geometry teacher would say. Oh, this is great. I feel like the game wants me to go upwards, actually, so let me keep going that way. Nope. Okay.
Very calm, peaceful vibes. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, can I jump all the way? Oh, I can just glide! Oh. Oh, what is that? Press A? Ooh! They can, like, shoot us upward. Very cool. Ugh. I love how, yeah, the, click, the cloak that we're wearing takes on different forms. When we're a cube, it, like, obviously takes on the form of a cube, but when we fly, it looks like two wings. Pigeons to be shooting upwards. They do. They do. They do. Oh, right. Those two red. All right. There we go. Very cool. I like that. Um, I think I can just hover. Oh, what? I just missed it. Hold on. Okay. How do I... Oh, I have to time my double jump. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. Please hold for a second. I need a drink. Back with dinner. How's the vibe going? It's going. For sure. The game continues to be beautiful. I don't know if you were here when we met our little friend Pedro, but he's adorable. It's great. This game is definitely taking us on a journey. I feel like we're nearing the halfway point, but I can't quite tell. It's a little difficult to tell. There we go. All right, I got the timing right. Have you named the little fella? Pedro. I didn't name him Lycan did, but I was willing to concede to that name. Fuck my back. Oh god. Sorry. My upper back is just like beyond repair, I suppose. Wait, I need those. Hold on. I need those. Okay. To shoot up. Oh, I missed it. I just missed the timing. Oh, okay. Hold on. The game is like trying to cue me. It's like really hard time to time it. Oh, fuck. Okay, come on. I feel. Oh, come on. Hello? I just had it. Am I? Am I going too early? Hold on. Can I go up there? No. Pedro sounds like something you'd come up with anyway. It does, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, now I can just... There we go. Wait! Am I not supposed to... Oh. Oh, I'm probably supposed to shoot up. Through the ceiling, probably, actually. That would actually make a lot of sense. <sighs> this timing is really hard to get, though. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. And I just need one more. Okay. There we go. That timing is, yeah, that timing is a little difficult to get. Oh, this wants to be broken. Hold on. Yes! It's another one of those things. I hope I didn't miss anything important, though. How do I get over there? Okay. Wait. 
Oh, there's some. Are there some in there? Hold on. Yes. Wait, did I not? Hold on. There we go. Oh, I had to double jump to just get up there. Imagine if we get an engaged character with the name Pedro. Well, we haven't gotten a Fire Emblem character with that name yet. So, anything is possible. Oh, this is a big area. Why is it so big? Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Is there a pattern to this? Hold on. Left, two, three. Left, two, three. Okay. The left one's gonna show up. Two's gonna show up. And then... Fuck. Okay. I think I can jump from the middle... Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hold on. Can I jump from the middle... Okay. Over to the other side? Oh my god, I, I fell. Ah, there we go. I just kind of guessed that my way through that. Okay. Now what? Oh. My sister brought me Takis when she dropped off her dog. My stomach and my bus are going to have a bad weekend. Takis. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're not kidding. Your, your bus is going to bust. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to be jumping extra high. Oh, <gasps> whoa. Oh my god. <gasps> Another statue. Okay. Interesting layout. About to cat not anus complainers, CC. <laughs> huh. Oh, there's a bunch of these up here. Whoa! Ooh! What's happening? Oh, I've heard this music. Oh wait, I know this music. I've worked out to this mu this music before. <laughs> I think this is a song that Donald recommended. Ooh! Oh, it's a big scary bird. Oh, hell no. Nah. We can weather this storm. You can't stop us. 
Ooh, God, that was scary. Come on. How do I... Oof. Ah. How do I get over there? No! I refuse! <sighs> oh my god, stop that! Oh! Fly upwards, you're not supposed to fly to it, you're supposed to fly upwards, I'm stupid. We will persevere. Oh my god. The red butterflies are still helping us. Oh, but we need to get over there. We actually need to be get blown that way. There we go. Thank you for the help. Is it helping us? It's definitely, like, guiding us in the right direction. I just can't tell if it's intentional from the bird's point of view. Whew. It's waiting for us. Fuck. I, I, I mistimed that. It's... Cry is so menacing, though. Fuck. Oh. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Hold on. Oh, we can do this. Hi, Jazel! How was work? Okay, we can do this. Can we get it all the way? No! Fuck. We have to double jump right at the end, I think. I think. My impulse is, is to like... Hmm. Let me see if we can. No. Oh, I know. I know how. Okay. I know how to do this now. We have to, like, turn into a stone on top of the tree. Aha! Uh -huh. Wasn't at work hanging out with some coworkers, though? Oh, that's cool. Went to the mall for a bit, then watched a the movie. Oh, cool. That sounds nice. Yeah. Sounds nice. A mall. I haven't been to a mall in a long time. It's like a very suburban thing to do back in when I was still living in Florida, in Miami. Hanging out at the mall. That bird is going to show up when we get to the top. 
And it's going to try to knock us down, I bet. I don't even know where we're going, though, but we're going somewhere. Oh, fuck. Why did it vanish? You're in NYC, the entire city is a mall, basically. Yeah, no, it definitely is. It's just like when I think of a mall, that's like a very suburban thing. And I'm like, I haven't like hung out at a mall since like I was in high school, I think. Because like when I was in high school, that was like the main hangout spot. We would always go to the the mall. Uh, I don't know. It's just where like everybody would convene. What do we do when we were like at the mall? What do we do? I guess we used to go see movies. I guess that makes sense. What else do we do at our mall? We went bowling sometimes. I think it was mostly movies that we went to go do. Go see. Friendly birds. Malls are so like last decade or so. There's something I can't quite place my finger on it, but there is something about, like, the idea of hanging out at a mall that does feel a little, like... I, I wasn't sure if it was, like, a decade thing, like, that's so late 2000s, or is, like, is that just, like, a high school thing? Because, like, you're a kid, and, like, you're not really gonna go to each other's houses, so it's just easier to meet at the mall, because it's a communal area. I couldn't quite place my finger on what it was, but, like, there's something there, Fodug, I think. It's both? It might be both, yeah. I'm like, where do kids hang out nowadays? Like, if, if I were a child, where would I hang out nowadays? I feel like the mall would still be the place to go, right? Because, like, if you don't want to deal with, like, each other's parents, then, like, just go to the mall, I suppose, right? Only reason I went to a mall as a teenager was because the movie theater was at the mall. Yeah, most malls, I think, have movie theaters nowadays. It's funny hanging out at the mall even though you are a broke teen, but then you're an adult with adult money and don't hang out at the mall. There's just so many other better places to hang out. At. Well, then again, I live in New York City. Yeah, we don't... Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Not you again. You don't scare me! They're like little bird creatures everywhere, though. Where do I... What do I do, though? I wish I could attack this thing. Ooh! It knocked me out of my stone form. But how do I... Oh! Where'd it go? Anyway. I'm staying put. But where do I go? Oh, hit the bell. How do I hit the bell, though? Hold on, there's some birds on top of the bell. But I don't know how to re- How do I get up there? How do- Leave me alone! Oh, there we go. The bird. Did anybody see that? The bird's face looked humanoid for a second there. I thought that was interesting. Jordy has never been more horrified of a bird. Honestly, yeah, this bird is kind of crazy. <laughs> this bird is kind of crazy. Homes are just safer with COVID, which started at the turn of the decade. That's for kids, too. So, like, imagine they hang out at each other's houses a lot more. The thing is, for me, growing up, I never... I mean, actually, that's a lie. I did go to, frequently go to a friend's house to hang out. I just imagined it... No, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. I know I did go to a friend's house to hang out a lot. 
like almost all the time like almost like definitely every week so i guess yeah that makes more sense that definitely makes more sense but again i also grew up in a very suburban area so like i can't imagine i i don't know i just yeah that's all i knew help fuck Yes. Yes. That bird. What the fuck was that? If that bird shows up one last time. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like we're about to enter a new area slash chapter. Which will honestly be really good because that'll be a great stopping point for the stream probably since we're nearing 10 o'clock. Another one, another statue. Oh. oh. Oh, here we go. Yes, blue. Oh, and purple. Rain. Ah. Oh. My favorite song. Only has room to start for one New Jersey viewer. And that's Mike. <laughs> Once I move into the new apartment, I plan to make that place a new chill place to hang. Planning the decision with them at all. Yeah, that's honestly been like my favorite part about ha about having my own apartment. Basically transforming it into a space where I can invite friends over. That is without a doubt the best part of having my own place. For sure. What am I then? Oh, Cece's also a New Jersey fan. That's a uh, New Jersey. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forget that you're from Jersey, Cece. I love weather patterns in video games. It's very beautiful in this game. Oh, wait. Hmm. We should probably stop here, truthfully. Oh, it's so pretty. The game just saved. I, I just saw the little auto save in the corner. Unfortunately, we really should stop the game here because this is essentially the start of a brand new area. And we have our anime night watch party in about less than 20 minutes. And I assume we'll also probably watch the trailer for the new Faye banner right before that maybe. How are you liking the game? I love this game so far. It's very beautiful. There's a lot of comparisons to be made. Uh, with this game and Journey because there is no dialogue. It's very much a visual storytelling um, game. The controls are very simple, just like in Journey. And everything is very conceptual and abs sort of, not as abstract, but like they are really trying to tell an abstract story through just through images alone and i don't know it's just very beautiful it's very beautiful so far esper's apartment smells like caramel apples and fresh linen can confirm i do try to keep it clean and i do try to light my candles it looks like journey but a side scroller from the little i've seen yeah it very much is and th that bird part that you saw at the end of that last chapter that's like the most like intense the game has gotten it's been very chill for the most part um we did meet a little friend along the way which was very cute it's just beautiful seeing the world evolve with every new power that we get i'm not exactly sure what it is that we are that's happening to us when we have those moments at the statues I mentioned this a few times in the stream, but like when I was doing research into this game, it I got the impression that it explores the five stages of grief. And so I'm under the impression that every time we go through one of those like transformations, 
we're about to explore another stage. And so we've been sort of been playing around with that idea. Not 100% sure if that's accurate or not, but like... The first world we were in was like red, the second world was green, and now this is the third world that we're in, which is blue. I don't know if there are five in total or what, but like, it's been pretty cool so far, very cinematic. Definitely have to check out the VOD to see how the beginning played out. It's been really lovely so far, and it's not a long game. It's also, I found out when I was doing research, this game is also on, on mobile. Like, you could download this game, buy this game as an app, and just play through it on your phone, which makes sense given how simple the controls are. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's really, it's really lovely. It is very lovely. Um, no, yeah, it's nice. Uh, we we should definitely be able to finish this game the next time we stream it. Won't be tomorrow because tomorrow I think I want to do a summoning session for. You know, for uh for the Fallen Heroes banner and Fey, and then play some Pokemon because I still need to do the tournament. Um, there are five levels. Yes, Diamond, can you confirm? Are we on the third? Did we? This blue area is this the start of the third level or the fourth level? I'm unclear. Just because at the beginning of the game there was like that entire gray area, I wasn't sure if that counted as a level. You just going for fodder? Yeah, Jaisal, I'm just going for fodder. I have a list of units it want. Speed smoke and or attack smoke or the catch skill. What are you looking to get? That basically Lilith and um Gustav. Um Yeah, what was I saying? No, yeah, that's pre pretty much it. Oh, yeah, so we won't be streaming this game again until next week. Probably uh It'll be either Friday or Saturday. Uh, actually, no, probably Friday or Sunday. Maybe su maybe Friday. Friday would be good, because if I do Pokemon tomorrow, Friday, finish Gris, Saturday, Rival Domains, Sunday, Pokemon. That actually sounds like a solid lineup, actually, right there. So I might do that. This counts as a fourth. Oh, okay, perfect. So that if we're, if we're about to enter the fourth out of fifth levels, then we will absolutely be able to finish this on Friday night. That is perfect. That is perfect. We should be able to knock it out in three hours. No more than that. That's perfect. Great. Cool. Alrighty then. Well, this has been lovely. This has been very lovely, actually. I really am enjoying this game, and I hope people give it a shot. Uh, I always do. I always do like enjoying a new game, especially when it's like something so different, such a departure from the games that we usually play on stream. This has been lovely, truly. Um. We are going to wrap up the stream for tonight. Friendly reminder, we are going to be watching Danganronpa in our Discord server in about 15 minutes, give or take. Jazel, if it's all right with you, we could probably watch the Fae banner beforehand, but, like, it won't take long. So, like, then we can go right into it. Um, But, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for tonight. Uh, thanks for the stream. Let's <laughs> see how much do I get to take. How much do you get to take? What do you mean, how much you get to take? What do you mean, how much you get to take? That is it for tonight. All right, have a lovely evening, folks. Um, I will see some of y'all, if not later tonight, then tomorrow. We said give it, it's a give or take. Forget the take part. Forget I said that. All right, have a good night, everybody. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>